Hello everybody, welcome to From the Desk of Ultra Films. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Venom action figure with removable symbiotic mask from Spider-Man the Animated Series in the year 1995. So let's get started. Alright, so here's the packaging. This is some really, really neat packaging. And it's so cool to see in the year 2020 now, especially since it's from 1995. Anyway, so we have the good old animated series Spider-Man logo, Marvel Comics logo from the new animated series. We got a Brock right here with the symbiotic mask, like just, you know, spreading out in tendrils and showing his face halfway. And that's some really, really neat artwork right there. Has a bonus collector's pin right there. And of course it says removable symbiotic mask. So there's the collector's pin, the mask, that weird chest piece and Eddie Brock or Venom himself. They are Venom, of course. So of course this is the Venom 2 action figure because the first one was the jaw chomping action one. Toy Biz logo, because Toy Biz made the most awesome toys. It's too bad we don't see stuff like this anymore. But anyway, let's get to the back. All right, so here's the back of the packaging. Basically, it's just showing the description or bio of the character and all the other action figures to collect and still some really, really freaking cool art on the back. And here's his little bio. And so you can just read this by pausing the video. Place mask over Brock's head and he's ready to battle as Venom. Collect all these Spider-Man figures. So we have Spider-Man, Web Climber, the Chameleon, Head Morphing, Mysterio, Miss Scorting Action, uh, Spider-Man, Web Glider, The Prowler, Claw Gripping, Venom 2, which is when we got Symbiotic Mask. Spider-Man Super Posable, really cool, it's like a Marvel Legends today. Except for it's four inches, so that's interesting. Uh, Shocker with Shooting Power Blasts, Spider-Man, Spider Armor, Scorpion Tail Striking Action, Rhino, Head Ramming Action, and Green Goblin Pumpkin Bomb Attack. It doesn't get any more funner than this. Alright, so this is the Venom action figure, and it looks really, really cool. It came with the accessories, like this weird bulletproof looking vest, which just came from another action figure previous to it. And it also came with the symbiotic mask, and this neat little Venom pin down here. Which looks pretty freaking amazing, I mean look at this thing. Just so cool. And here's the head sculpt of Eddie Brock, looking crazy, looking pretty angry. And he also has this nice little flat top up here, the good old 90s haircuts. Now in the show, he was actually, you know, brown haired or whatever, but they made him blonde just to be more comic book accurate, I guess. So yeah. As for the rest of the detail on this figure, it is really, really cool. You got nice muscle details. You also have right here on his hands and everywhere else, these veins, as you can see right here. And it just looked really, really cool. But yeah, he has the spider symbol, which also looks amazing. The iconic Venom symbol. And so his gimmick was that you would put on the symbiotic mask over his head of course and he would become venom all right so let's go ahead and do that i gotta hold him down in order to do it as well it's kind of a hard way to get on but you soon enough will get it on all right there we go he is now venom complete with the mask on his head and dang does he look really cool i mean this head sculpt is very very detailed and just the figure itself is detailed as well. He's got those teeth, his tongue is hanging out, he's got those eyes up there, which look amazing. Overall, it's just a really, really, really cool figure. And it's just one of the best Venom figures out there, and I highly recommend it. However, prices go up because it's one of the older ones from the 90s. And so, you know, be aware of those prices. Okay, so as for this uh, weird flexible plastic symbiotic uh, chest piece you would just basically slip it over his head like so and he would just have this on and it would look really cool but it's also kind of strange you know just a accessory that they had to add in there they're like we have to have an accessory so let's pull this from the flicking tongue venom set and so this is what happened and it does look pretty cool on him 
I mean, yeah, it does look really, really cool, actually. You know, it's just a nice little vest to add to Venom. And also, he's got this weird kind of symbiotic thing going on in the back, so it gives it a nice uh, mood to the actual Venom character itself in the action figure. But yeah, this uh, chest piece doesn't do too much except for just add on to the figure. But I still think it looks pretty good with it on. Tell me down in the comments what you think about it. And I'll, you know, I'll respond or something. But yeah, this is just a really, really neat and unique figure. And they don't have stuff like this anymore. And I wish they would make stuff like this. But you know, Toy Biz no longer exists really. And I wish they would come back and they would just bring back stuff like this. Where you can just take off accessories and symbiotic masks. And you would just have, you know, the coolest action figure ever. And, yeah. Okay, so for articulation, there was like just seven points of articulation. Not too much. It's not Marvel Legends. It's just the 90s. Alright. Anyway, so, kicked out. Had knees. Goes back down. The elbows didn't move, but the arms did move back and forth. And twisted all the way around if you wanted to. They also had this neat, you know, webbing area for the Venom character. His head did move all the way around as well. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And he just has this <laughs> very angry looking face right here. <laughs> but yeah, not much to the articulation, but like I keep saying, the play feature always makes up for the lack of articulation. Cause you know, you can just pop on that Venom mask like so, and he's ready to battle as Venom. Just watch this, it's just satisfying to take on and off. See, there you go, he is Venom. All ready to go for a battle with Spider-Man. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like on the video, of course. And if you wanna see more other Venom action figures or Spider-Man action figures or Toy Biz action figures in general, comment down below which ones you want me to review or just other random stuff to review on this channel. I review a lot of stuff. But just comment down below, of course, and subscribe for more videos like these on action figures and many more. And guys, you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.